for his selfless dedication, exemplary performance, noteworthy achievements, and ardent service to the Alexander H. Stevens Camp 78 uh, in America's Georgia. And this is presented on the eighth day of November, 2020. So uh, we present this, uh, Jenny's daddy is 90 years old and was unable to come today, but we greatly appreciate all that he and his family have done. in May of 1861, Company K, 10th Regiment, Virginia Infantry. He served until May the 12th, 1864, and he was captured, and he became a prisoner of war. He was released in June, and think about this, the war ended in April, but they kept him in prison there uh, at Fort Delaware until June of 1865. He was... Uh, one of the immortal 600. If you're not familiar with that, uh, check on your phone and uh, uh, or your internet and uh, check out the immortal 600 and uh, you'll find out a lot about them. Anyway, uh, Jenny was telling me that uh, after he was released, they put him and other prisoners from Georgia, I guess, on a ship and sent them to Savannah. And he got off there and he had to find his way home, which he walked most all of the way from Savannah back to Ellaville, Sly County, where his mother and daddy lived. He, uh, after then, he studied law and he became a judge, and he, then he served in Congress from 1883 to 1896, and he, this being now Mr. Charles Frederick Chris, he was uh, served in Congress those years, and then he was Speaker of the House of Representatives in Washington, D.C., his last two terms. Uh, and let me say this, you that have been keeping up with the news, Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, took his picture, photograph, out of the Capitol, the rotunda of the Capitol this year because he was a Confederate soldier. That's what we have in Washington today. Anyway, um, he... Uh, uh, as I say, uh, he served until 1896, I believe, and then he passed away. He had been nominated to be the United States Senator from Georgia. But uh, anyway, um, certainly a very honorable man, and you think uh, joining up at the age of 16. Let's receive these presents. Greetings. This is to certify that in recognition of devoted support to the cause uh, defending Southern heritage, Mary Virginia Crisp has been duly qualified as a friend of the Sons of Confederate Veterans and given under my hand at Columbia, Tennessee, the Commander-in-Chief, Mr. Paul Gramlin. So anyway, we present this to you, Jenny. And, uh, 